Hi, at iQuanta, to help you guys with quantitative aptitude preparation, we are having this amazing series, Quant 200, where we are going to discuss some really good questions. And today, this question is from numbers. Try this one. So I hope you must have tried this question and uh, you got the correct answer. Now let's discuss this. It says if the sum of two natural numbers and their LCM is 89, then how many such pairs of numbers are possible? So how do we start with this question? First of all, uh, how do we choose two such number where uh, we can figure out some of those two numbers and what will be their LCM? If I choose two variables a and b and then uh, how do we write their LCM? It's a different thing writing their product like if I choose two numbers a and b then their product will be a into b. But what will be their LCM? Is there any common factor between them? Is there any uh, like you can say not a common factor between them except one? So to resolve this issue we will try to assume that <coughs> two numbers x as a into h and y as b into h where hcf of x and y is equal to h right so i am taking two numbers x and y where uh, hcf of these two numbers is h can i say hcf of a and b will also be equal to 1 means a and b are co prime to each other okay a and b are co prime to each other now let's follow the question it says sum of two natural numbers means x plus y plus lcm of x and y is equal to 89 now can i say x can be written as a h y can be written as b h and lcm of x and y can be written as a b h why because a and b are co prime to each other h is the common factor this is equal to 89 now can i take h common then i get a plus b plus a b is equal to now 89 can be written as 1 into 89 89 is a prime number it can be factorized in only one way 1 into 89 or 89 into 1 uh, but think about this this h this hcf if i am taking h as 89 then a plus b plus a b will be 1 which is not possible because if even if i take 1 1 1 it must be at least 3 that means h the hcf of these two numbers must be 1 now if hcf of these two numbers must be 1 can i say a plus b plus a b will be equal to 89 right now from there, if I add 1 on both sides, a plus b plus ab plus 1, we get 9d on the right hand side. Now I can write a plus ab together, b plus 1 together, this is equal to 90. Now from there, I can take a common, I get b plus 1, then 1 into b plus 1 will be equal to 90. From there, I can take b plus 1 common and I can say b plus 1 into a plus 1 will be equal to 90. Now, we know that a and b are natural numbers. So, right hand side, the product should also be written as product of two natural numbers. 90 can be written as 90 into 1 or 45 into 2 or 30 into 3 or 18 into 5 or we can say this can be written as 15 into 6 as well then this can be written as 10 into 9 as well now these many ways are uh, ways possible now we don't need to take the ordered pairs like uh, we don't need to take the reverse of it because initially there is no name of the numbers right so x and y y and x uh, both of the pairs will be same so what can i say about this product b plus 1 will be greater than equal to 1 a plus 1 will be greater than equal to 1 but here a and b both are natural numbers right can i say b plus 1 must be at least 2 
a plus 1 must be at least 2. So we can cancel out this case. Now if we consider this case, then we can say b will be equal to 44 and a will be equal to 1. In that case, 44 plus 1 plus 44 will be 89. Then in the second case, we can say b will be equal to 29, a will be equal to 2. Then our number will be 29 plus 2 plus 58, 58 plus 31, again 89. So all of these cases will be valid now. We don't need to find all the numbers, right? Because we need to find how many such pairs of numbers are possible. So how many pairs? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 such pairs are possible. But before we mark the option, we need to understand if this number was bigger, let us say bigger than 90 or way bigger than 90, how would we find the answer? So in how many ways 90 can be written as product of two of its factor, right? So can I say 90 can be written as 2 to the power 1 into 3 square into 5 to the power 1. What will be the number of factors of 90? Number of factors of 90 will be 2 plus 1, then 2 plus 1, 3, then 1 plus 1, 2, which is equal to 12 ways. 90 can be written as product of 2 of its factor in 12 by 2, which is 6 ways. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But in all of those 6 cases, we will have to remove one case where we write 90 as 19 to 1. So that's why it will be 6 minus 1, 5. So if you get these kind of questions where you need to find a plus 1 into b plus 1 in something, where a and b are natural number, find the number of factors, divide it by 2, subtract 1, you will get your answer. So answer for this question is option C, 5.